Welcome to the Daily App Show. Today we have an application for your iPad, as well as your iPhone and iPod Touch, called Orderly. Open up Orderly, and it's going to bring us into our last viewed menu. So here I have a bunch of to-dos and tasks that I want to complete. Up at the top it says Home. This is my home board. I can also tap the top left hand corner and switch around to a work board. So I have two boards that I can work with and begin adding different to-dos and tasks and reminders here inside of these different boards. The way that I work this is tap the plus button in the top right hand corner and it's going to ask me to enter in a new to-do. So here I'm going to give it a title, and let's just say that this one, we'll call it Daily App Show. And now I've got some different tasks that I want to complete, and I'll just start typing them in. Now what I can do is customize this board here. Tap on the top menu, this T right here. Here I can choose from colors and fonts. So I can change the font here, also the font size. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave it on this font. And for the color, let's go ahead and make this one orange. And then we'll tap done. So that's editing our style. We can also set a time. So I want this one, where do I want it to be done? Do I want a high, medium, low? Do I want a due date? And do I want it to be reoccurring? So maybe this one, I want it to reoccur weekly. And my due date will be on the 26th and we'll make it for noon. I can choose where I want this to be done. You choose none if you just want it to be a general task. I can add my per current position or even add in a drop pin from a map. So this is gonna zoom in on the map and all I have to do is tap and hold on the screen and it's going to drop a pin for me and that'll be the location where it's going to happen. So I'll go ahead and choose none for this one and we've got everything set up. I can also put task specific time limits. So for this one where I want to do Photoshop clouds, if I tap there, right above the keyboard in the top right hand corner, I have this calendar button. Tap there and I can have a specific item due date. So I'm going to go and set this one for today at 7 p.m. and then we'll tap save. And notice that that one alone has a, its own custom to due date. So now we'll come back out to the screen and notice that this has been added to my low priority since that's what we set up in the menu. Now I can drag these around if I tap and hold. I can go ahead and move this one to a high priority if I'd like to. And I can also delete different tasks. So if I didn't need this one of my bills anymore, I can go ahead and tap the X on the top left hand corner. When I tap and hold, tap the X, and it's going to remove that entire list. I can come into my archives and these are going to be archived lists or tasks. So I come into daily chores and let's just say I've already washed the dishes. I'm going to swipe over to the right and mark it off. And then I can go ahead and mark all these other ones off since I've already completed them. Now they've been moved to my archives and now you can see that my daily chores from my home tab has been marked off and I can go ahead and view all those in that archive notes. And I can also come into work. So if I mark anything off in work, let's go and go to my work board. And I've already gone ahead and done all the stuff for painting of the office. I'll just mark them off. We didn't want to do the warehouse. So what I'll do is swipe over from the right hand side. And it's going to allow me to delete that one. And I'll just check everything else off. And that's been moved to my archive now. Go ahead and flip this back around. I have some settings here where I can sync with either Dropbox or a box and I can log in with my accounts there to have multi-device sync. I have some app settings where I can turn my sound effects on or off, choose to have uh, orderly auto prioritize all of my tasks. I can maintain my archive for 30 days, 90 days, forever or none. And then I can also display my title. So my home and work tabs, I can go ahead and change the titles of those if I'd like to. And then I can change the overall theme of orderly. See, I can go ahead and just tap here on the color and change the overall general theme of how it looks. Now what's also cool is if I were to come to my home screen or from any other application really, and if I were to swipe down notification center, I have an orderly to do right here in my today view. So I can see anything that is coming up today. And if I tap on that, it's gonna take me right into the task where that specific item lives. And here it opens it up right for me and I can go ahead and mark it off. And once it's marked off, It'll take a second, but it'll remove itself from the today widget here in orderly, letting me know that everything is done and I don't have anything coming up today. So this list will update daily based upon the reminders that you've set up inside the app. 
So once again, this application is called Orderly. If you like it, be sure to pick it up in the App Store today.